better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures it. Oh, it's up. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head in the chest just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strikes, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pump. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up there. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Outstanding kick there by Short. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. With oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. Let's go, Misses with the right hand. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Straight right is there. Blocks that kick to the body. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Ooh, big shot lands. How good is that right hand? Blocks the shot. Big kick lands. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Some 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Throws the right hand there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice straight punch. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Just misses there with the left. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. <laughs> oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Felder gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, collar tie. Oh, man, look at that picture. Perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful take. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, relax. You're fine. It's just a little blood. You've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. We like the taste of our own blood. Now's the chance to block. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Felder's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Great punch. Try to establish that jab. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head. What a big time takedown. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up the triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck, and he will have to submit. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. Effective punch there by Shore. Three minutes to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, what a punch. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh! Oh! 
The jab followed by the right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Nice high kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, straight right! Great punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Joy gets back up again. Nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Conviction now. Uh, How about those five minutes? Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Choi. Big punch land. Ooh. Felder's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. That's a big strike right there. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Now. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Lance, a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up with great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Just misses with the straight run. Gets 
the elbow up into the target. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Good punch. Back and forth we go! Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. The ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's going to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your phone. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Felder. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, missed on that one. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target, as it has on so many occasions tonight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Nice punch by Felder. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Won't finish this fight. Oh! Misses again with a right punch. Beautiful strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Keep your hands up. Keep that head moving. Head Felder's back to the side control now. 
Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Felder's got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. End of the clinch. Now, let's see if they're going to try to fight the takedown or watch for him to employ a dirty boxing strategy. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. He got the turtle in that kick. Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chief. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so he's certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. kick there by Felder. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, man, snapped his head back with the uppercut. There. You can see him throw his entire body into that uppercut. Continuing to go to the head. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one lands. Wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Now 
now connects with a right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, there's an effective counter. Beautiful lever change leads to the takedown. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Got clip with the right hand. Felder gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Big kick lands. Felder's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Nice. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Felder. Huge block there. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Timely defense there. Huge block oh, there. That was so nice. What a beautiful takeout. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Choi. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Right hand punch from the clinch. The next there with the punch. One minute to go in the fight. to go now. Checks the leg kick. Oh! Back to the feet. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Straight punch lands. Oh! Well, and that's the type of aggressiveness and execution that is going to endear you to UFC President Dana White, to the matchmakers. Make sure you keep it out of the judges' hands, and that's exactly what he did here tonight. A huge shot landed clean. Clearly, his opponent was hurt very badly, and ultimately, the finish came right then and there. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout.